Hi Art, thank you for coming. We're gonna start in a while. Today we're gonna paint landscape scenery painting with a boat. I will try to paint a boat to show how to paint it and I will be using oil paint as always so let's just prepare our paint it's gonna be Prussian blue and it's gonna be cobalt blue I'm mixing those two blue colors it gives different tones Viral red, or you can use cadmium red. It can be changed a little bit, not so sufficient. Also, magenta light. Okay, we'll put it here a little bit down. I don't think we need it so much today. Next one is going to be cadmium yellow. For sure that one we're going to need a little bit more. Because here is a lot of green as you can see. Next one will be raw sienna or you can use gold ochre or yellow ochre. Actually it's kind of similar. A little bit of black. I'll just put it here so because it's not so important at the moment. And of course titanium white, the main tone nowadays. So I will just fix paint a little so it will not fall down. That's what I'm usually doing with palette knife. Because it's when it's too oily, sometimes it's going down for the palette. And that I wanna avoid. Hi Dieter Art Academy. Yeah, I also like this photo, what I have chosen, so I will try to paint it today in my own way. And we're gonna see how it's gonna turn out. Guys, let me know how is the sound, if you can hear me well, because I didn't check myself yet. So if anything is fine, just let me know, please.
Okay, I think sounded okay, just check myself. And let's start. And I'm gonna use my old Bristol brush. It's almost done, but it's good to m make a, just basic lines of this or just small details, because as you can see here, it's almost over. So, alright. Let's start dividing our landscape. And I'm gonna use the spruce and blue because it's almost transparent and it's gonna help us to not make a mess after we will put another colors. So that's why I'm using it. As you can see, cobalt blue is brighter. It's good to mix with yellow. Okay, anyway, let's draw the white. I think it's kinda three parts as you can see in the photo and maybe it's gonna be somewhere here it's our distant land gonna be there okay maybe a little bit lower just let put it here So here is kind of a little bit island where our trees are growing. So let's just mark it as well. And there will be already a reflection. But I will not focus too much on it right now. I will just drop this main deep that's what I have to. Because there is like distant tree or I think it's distant tree over there. Plus simple trees on this area. More closer to us. And on this area gonna be I think it's kind of grass bushes or something like this just on our lake plus it's gonna be with reflection I think we can put it a little bit lower. I guess somewhere here a little bit lower. Tree is gonna be here and this island a little bit lower in this area, almost same line with this grass over here. Grass also going on the left side from the island.
Okay, it's almost going on the edge until here, so I think I can put it a little bit upper. I'm just doing for myself kind of hints what helped me to make the boat after. That's why I'm drawing it like this. We can also look at it like a triangle shape and some a little bit of perspective going there. There is not much perspective anyway, but still we can use it. It's gonna help us to understand. There will be a lot of grass and this side will be a little bit upper and here also gonna be grass. We we'll just change a little bit shape. But here is definitely curved and in this area it's a little bit upper. Anyway, I will change it after with colors already. Here is definitely some darker color. Actually, it's almost like a prusa and blue looks like. Maybe with some cobalt and a little bit of white can be added as well. So. I just want to mark some darker tones we're gonna be and then I will add some colors into all this is just for myself and if you follow along you also can do this because it's really helpful to understand what you can do after and I'm gonna start with these clouds. Then I'm gonna do some water over here. Because all these colors are kind of similar with sky and water. Because it's kind of reflection. Hi Sarita, thank you for joining. I haven't seen you for a while. How are you doing? I hope you are fine. Today we're, today we're painting a landscape scenery with a boat and I'm just doing main lines which helps me to understand what we're going to do next. And I'll be using oil thinner and definitely there is magenta. Pink it's called as magenta. And a little bit of red. And also yellow. 
we can see there. So it's kind of orange, but it's not so bright orange. It's kind of a little bit yellow and also magenta again. Gonna help us. Probably a little bit of red, a little bit more. And it's going kind of on this area. And it's definitely a little bit more white. I'm finding I was a little bit okay. Yeah, we all a little bit busy. It's our routine nowadays and always. Okay, a little bit more magenta. And red, some more red, okay, I will use palette knife because I need to mix more of this color. So let's just do orange at first. I put too much of red. Let me just put it away a little and put more yellow over here and white. So it's not gonna be so bright. More magenta in this orange and white again. I just put it away a little and add more magenta. Magenta is pink so but I don't know why they call it magenta. And it's gonna be definitely here in this area actually can even use palette knife and I definitely need more of this pink And a little bit too white on this area. It's kind of very bright. And I will just drop those color on some areas where I can see it. Plus also there are gonna be some reflection. Alright. 
and there I also can see some kind of blue but it's not total blue it's a little bit even a little bit light light green we can see there Okay, so let's just blend it a little bit because I have a lot of paints over here and I'm gonna blend it and also I will drop it here on this area as a reflection and I need more magenta as well I'm gonna use As we can see some pinky so definitely it's kind of pinky mm. orange color and on this area I can add white to show some skies over there as well It's not typical landscape that I'm usually doing, this is why I decided to paint it. And let's add a little bit of red and a little bit of blue and drop it here. Just a moment, I need more because I need to get some kind of violet color, violet tone and yellow or white. I will put white because we need light light violet as you can see it's going on this side as a reflection so kind of same color we have to put on this area on our skies Hi Eric, um, thank you for joining. I'm still painting it. Yeah, it's kind of landscape painting for today. Last time we painted the rabbit. If someone on you didn't see it, you can check it if you're interested. It took me some while. So today is a landscape. Sorry for being in inactive on your channel. I'm gonna watch all your videos that I have been missed. It's okay, we're all busy these days. Thank you for attention. Anyway, it's kind of long videos actually, it's live streams. Because I don't want to do some time lapse. Maybe probably I will do some informative time lapse a little bit later. But now I'm focused more on streams. Cause just want to share it live like it's so people can see all the struggle during the process plus you can watch any part you want I will do uh, time codes later so people can just watch what they want actually I forgot a little bit to do it before about those time codes just one channel remind me about this he asked if I can do it and yeah why not so 
So what I'm doing now is still doing some our skies and reflection from the skies and because it's almost like similar colors and this one will be already lighter as we can see here plus here gonna be reflection from these trees so it's better to mix same color and just do it both I don't know I just find this a little bit easier for myself And of course it's going to be different from the photo, from the reference photo. I'm not following so much those reference photos as I said before on my previous live streams. Because when you have to follow strictly you don't have so much freedom. And it's also a little bit hard to achieve just same colors always. So this is why I'm not following it strictly, I'm just taking like main idea. <laughs> and I'm gonna put a little bit more titanium white on our clouds on the skies or code how you want to show that it's kind of far and these lines help us to achieve this idea plus here gonna be some little trees almost dark and I believe this is like sunset town already and yep gonna be like this Okay, let's just mix a little bit more this violet because I will use it for some clouds so we need red and blue it's cobalt blue and pyrrole red instead of cadmium red today but it doesn't matter too much anyway So now we got this violet color what we need and I think it's even a little bit lighter than it's now. Hi Ruchi, thank you for joining. How are you today? Just a moment, I have to fix my easel. I forgot to press my palette with paints and it's a little bit uncomfortable. Just a moment. Okay, I think it's better. Alright, let's just continue to drop our clouds on this area. There is definitely some purple cloud. And on this area as well, it's kind of reflection, so let's just drop it also on this area. Yeah, fine also, thank you. I'm just doing stream on this day, because tomorrow I'm kind of busy and I decided to make it Saturday because I didn't make stream on Wednesday as well. So that's it gonna be Saturday but next stream I hope gonna be Wednesday and Sunday again. You know sometimes need to change schedule. Can't follow it all the time unfortunately. But it's not a big deal I think. People can watch it anytime. This time I got. Oh, that's great. But also, it's kind of half an hour already, videos going on. 
maybe some people also will get notified. I just hope so, because I notice that people don't really much watching landscape painting. They mostly interested in animals, as I can see from the live stream and how it's going. What about you? What kind of paintings you would like to see more? Because I decided to do landscapes, animals and flowers. So it's going to be one after one. But if people want me to make more animals or any other thing like flowers and landscapes, probably I can do it more. So it depends how people want it. Because for me it don't matter so much. I just need to know to prepare anything. This is what I'm asking. Let's just blend some blue and drop it here. Even more white. thinner which helps me to blend I'm always using it as you know and let's just mix a little bit more oh Bruce and blue it can should be a little bit mistake but not sufficient just Put it here and more white, definitely more white. I will blend these colors later. A little bit oil thinner again, which helps me to mix on this area. In this area there will be like trees, so I will just make a little bit kind of underpainting and I will mix uh, green after also. I will not be focused too much on these areas now. So let's blend a little bit more. Plus here gonna be our purple as we can see. And we have to show that it's kind of skies. I can see also some yellow lines going there but we have to be careful because it's kind of can be mixed with our blue and it's gonna be green but we don't need the green here so i will just not press it too much i will just leave it like this and in this area i wanna do this purple as you can see there is some purple color and let just drop it there and blend it it's going above our trees but gonna be placed here on this area so I will just blend it a little bit it's kind of a little bit difficult um, sunset because when the sun goes down sometimes it gives so much reflection and so much of different colors it's, it's a little bit hard to catch up 
and also on this area it's gonna be more white but we can add it after a lot but right now I'm gonna put more there is as we can see here is kind of two clouds going on the right side and it's definitely darker than this purple what I just mix hi art color gamut thank you for joining and for your like I hope you are doing well we are painting a landscape today as you can see and currently I'm doing this clouds area over here So let's just add a little bit more Prussian blue in this violet, what we mixed. I just mix it here. Thank you for your comment, I appreciate it. Let's just drop some red. And we have to get this darker purple, as you can see I'm mixing it now. And let's just put it on this area. Just showing these two dark clouds. Some cloud is here as well. And maybe this one we can do a little bit darker than it is now. Right? Спасибо, я рад, что вам нравится. Спасибо, что зашли. Сейчас больше делаем такое прямое включение, лайвстрим. Как бы больше отклика хотелось бы. Вот. Обычные видео не дают столько, поэтому больше такой лайвстрим в последнее время. Спасибо и вам тоже удачи и успехов. Okay, all right, let's drop some purple on this area. And also I wanna make it a little bit darker than I made it before. What language do you speak then? No, it's Russian. It's Russian language. I know kind of three languages. It's English, Russian, my main language, and Latvian, the language of our country. Я пишу название тоже на русском, но первоначально оно идет на английском, и мне кажется, оно просто перекрывает русское название. А где в настройках и как его делать, мне кажется, это зависит уже от того, кто смотрит. Во всяком случае, у меня не получалось. Да, и не так много русских, русскоговорящих заходит тоже в основном. Английская аудитория. С 
so let's just add a little bit more white on top of our clouds and actually we can make it as all line going from the left to right or from the right to left Обожала это очень красиво все равно, благодарю вас все на ваше здоровье. Спасибо, приятно слышать. Я не очень, если честно, там насчет этих событий. Как бы. Вы сами из-за Украины, да? Я просто не в курсе. Много по-русски говорят, и как бы особо не смотришь, кто откуда. Одесситка, я понял. Никогда там не был, кстати, ни в России, ни в Украине. Вот странно вот так вот, на самом деле. Вроде русский язык, родной язык. Но в странах, как бы, русскоговорящих не был. Ну да, надеюсь. Жизнь короткая, слишком, знаете. Да, и в принципе не так важно, на каком писать. Я просто не жил в Латвии последние два. Ну, я жил, но я уехал из Латвии и вернулся до пандемии. И... Скорее всего, уеду назад, когда все это закончится. Вот, поэтому просто больше как-то сложилось, что англоязычной, наверное, аудитории побольше было. Ну, как бы их и так людей немного, в принципе. Тем более сейчас с этой бантемии там столько каналов появилось, что... Быть замеченным на Ютубе практически нереально стало. Поэтому даже непонятно, куда этот YouTube приведет и вообще приведет ли куда-то. Я тут разговаривал с одним иностранным каналом. Он уже сколько лет? 8, наверное, на YouTube. И он говорил, что раньше легко было. Потому что он сразу как бы начал давать какие-то... Ну, даже это даже не называть уроки. Это ну, просто он показывает процесс, что рисует и рассказывает. В общем, как он это делает. И... Я у него спрашивал, было ли сложно, он говорит, а не было вообще сложно. Конкуренции тогда не было на тот момент. А Ютубу надо было что-то показывать на эту тему, и, соответственно, он его очень хорошо пропиарил на тот момент. Вот. А новым каналом очень сложно сейчас что-либо сделать. Okay, I've dropped some clouds, our purple clouds on the top area, and 
I want to blend a little bit also those clouds because it's definitely not so bright as you can see. So I just blend it a little bit with white so it's not going to be so dark. просто надо интересоваться сам процесс и общаться с людьми на это темно у меня примерно такая же ситуация просто раньше этим не занимался так совсем плотно но меня начали спрашивать не преподаю ли я это так довольно странно потому что когда ты нигде не учился в принципе но ну, хотя я и учился на дизайна как бы на дизайнера, но мы там немножко рисовали, но это не совсем то, как бы такого академического нету. Но я думаю, даже сейчас это не очень важно. Просто обычные люди, они больше смотрят как бы на саму картинку, нравится или не нравится, и все. Многим, как оказалось, даже этот академизм, он и не нужен. Как раз и какого производителя? Я использую сейчас. Я использую Graduate, это Georgian Oil. Oh, Graduate это другое, немножко другой класс. Я Georgian использую, это Dollar Rowney, получается, бренд из Англии. Но у нас в Латвии он продается, в принципе. И я использую его, потому что он немного дешевле получается, чем Невская палитра. Хотя Невская палитра у меня тоже есть. Вот так они выглядят, эти тюбики. В общем, у нас здесь он немного дешевле. Ну, вот его в основном использую. Ну, еще у меня есть ладога. Ну, хотя ладога мне не очень нравится, просто я не нашел желтый цвет, и пришлось купить ладогу. Конечно, так бы я не стал бы ей рисовать, она немножко похуже качеству все-таки. Поэтому... Как бы. Но мне она не очень, честно, нравится. Хотя в некоторых моментах она спасает. Ну и да, мастер-класс, Невская палитра. Или какая там, ну да. Мастер-класс, все правильно. Вот. В основном этими цветами работаю. Hi Sketchy, thank you for joining, I'm fine, I hope you're doing well too, we're painting a landscape today and as you can see I painted some clouds already and I'm gonna continue, plus I have to do some reflection on the water as well and I wanna drop a little bit more white on our clouds. And also I want to fix later these clouds as well. Um, let's just try to do it now. This is oil paints, as always. I'm using oils. And this is England brand. People just asking me what I'm using. There is in, yeah, I know that there is an evening in India. I just decided to do live stream today instead of Sunday, because tomorrow I'm gonna be a little bit busy. All blessing art, hello. Hello for you too, hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining us today. I'm kind of struggling right now with these clouds. Sometimes I like to choose some difficult landscapes. Try to paint it. Thank you, Sketchy. Выставку, да, наверное, пока нет. Потому что у нас как бы не все галереи принимают работы, так назовем, дилетантов, как оказалось-то. 
Пока не, не планирую. Но у меня много работ, на самом деле. Можно в Инстаграме посмотреть, он там написан слева. Если вы вдруг используете Инстаграм. В принципе, я не очень-то там так стремлюсь к этим выставкам, потому что пока не очень надо. В принципе, можно, но у нас в Латвии мало людей. Я просто ходил по торговым центрам и по галереям, и там, в принципе, нету людей. В основном у нас люди покупают, что принты дешевые, а продавать свою работу там за 20 долларов, на которую ты тратишь там по 4 часа, ну, не очень хотелось бы. Даже вот эта маленькая работа, сколько времени на нее затрачено, и в целом... Может сделаю как-нибудь, но пока не сейчас. Думаете напрасно, да? Ну, может быть. Не знаю, мне сложно оценивать свои работы. Хотя у меня их уже достаточно много. И думаю, есть что показать. Еще такой момент, что я жду, пока они немножко подсохнут, чтобы нанести лак на них. Потому что некоторые работы совсем свежие, недавние, а выставлять мало работ тоже не хочется. Ну да, верно. Ну, надо думать в любом случае. Если только в торговых центрах каких-нибудь тогда хотелось бы. Да, Димарный еще какой-то был. Сейчас, секундочку. У меня есть, да, лак Дамарный, получается, и акрил стирольный. То есть два лака, один говорили для... Вообще я их купил. Ну как бы лак акрил стерольный, он больше для холодных тонов, а домарный, говорят, больше для теплых тонов. Но как бы стерольный он универсален, в принципе, потому что он не дает этот желтый оттенок, насколько я знаю. Хотя я вон домарным покрыл и нормально все. Одну работу. Как бы не, не так там сильно они отличаются, чтобы совсем, особенно на маленьких работах, не так заметно. Hi Connor Art, thank you for joining. Я тоже не знал, пока не стал этим интересоваться, потом наткнулся на видео. Девушка рассказывала, в чем отличие. То, что этот желтый дамар нам больше как бы для теплых тонов. Ну скажем, оранжевый, там желтый. Потому что он такой как бы желтизну он дает. Но можно использовать стерольный тогда для всех работ, потому что он прозрачный. Мне просто кажется, это больше такой маркетинговый ход, нежели там действительно сверх какое-то отличие. Just mix a little bit more colors. Titanium white and Russian blue. More white.
Да, в основном щетина. Но я еще и маленькие, его мягкие кисточки тоже использую, но больше как по второму слою. Ну, это тот же бренд. Да, тоже неплохие, только стачиваются быстро. Особенно маленькие. Ну, в принципе, меня устраивает. Он не очень дорогой. Плюс к тому же я использую картон. Ну, не картон, это как ДСП, она считалась там. Как-то мне больше нравится ее рисовать на ней. Да, и дешевле она. Такой маленький холст, 30 на 30, он стоит ну, где-то 5 евро. Я не знаю, сколько это там в гривнах или в рублях. Но... В общем, или 5 маленьких вот таких картоночек, или один холст. То есть, ну, как бы есть разница. Там особенно в 4 раза, но очевидно. Более картонку тоже можно в рамку оформить или как кто хочет 150 гривен ну, да. но вот мне вот эта картонка обходится в четыре раза дешевле получается чем на холсте ну понятно, что холстом можно сразу повесить и как-то оформить на стену. С картоном так не получится, но зато дешевле. Ну да, даже больше, чем двое. Хотя может да, где-то так. Но у нас тут мало отечественных производителей, все завозят. И тоже. Может быть поэтому и краски отличаются в цене. Думаю, ну да. В Юрмале не были. В основном все в Юрмалу как бы едут. Приезжие в основном отдыхать. Ну, насколько я Когда-то там еще новая волна проходила. Да, но насчет мало людей, то в принципе их везде мало. Особенно когда приезжаешь с каких-то больших городов. Не, ну хотя в Юрмале бывает там 
толпы. Но все равно. Ну да, вам, наверное, видней. Мне так сложно сказать. Знаете, когда живешь в одном месте долго, оно как бы все равно приедается и уже не замечаешь всех этих красот. Ну, хоть я и за границей был, жил. Все равно. Вы где-то учились рисовать или сами тоже? Ну да, то же самое, в принципе. Инженерный электрик. Это редкая профессия для женщины. Хотя, может, давным-давно и вполне себе. Ребеси Крайнс, hi, welcome to the channel. We're painting landscape today, as you can see. Всегда у меня нет специальности. Я только на дизайн учился. На IT сначала, потом на дизайн. Но я не закончил, поэтому работал, где придется, и рисовал. Главное, что он был занят любимым делом. Остальное не так важно. Да, спасибо. Посмотрим, как будет выглядеть в конце. Я тут тоже многим говорю, что я обычно не следую вот этой фотографии прям один в один. Просто как идею беру ее и рисую как, как бы уже в своем стиле. не обязательно следовать. Hi, Anishar's Colors. Thank you for joining also. Hi, Nizla. How are you doing, guys, today? Thank you for stopping by. Ну, 
плюс следовать все время фотографии все-таки, наверное, требует какого-то более профессионализмом, что ли, можно так сказать. Мне хочется как-то больше по-своему. Какой-то, да, свободы, что ли. Интересно, как получится это именно в такой, знаете, как сказать, в свободной форме по-своему. Вот это почему-то всегда интересовало больше. Okay guys, so let's just drop some basic shapes of our tree in our distant tree or over there. You know, simply using this Prussian blue, but I think I will add some yellow, so it's not gonna be so bluish it's gonna be a little bit dark dark green and showing that this is far as well ну да свой стиль он все-таки становится таким более узнаваемым хотя вроде я делаю разные работы но все равно если вот так приглянуться да в принципе я думаю любого художника кто уже какой-то скажем так, подольше время этим занимается, не первый там год, а уже понял, как и что он хочет делать, то все равно даже вот те же мазки, ну они заметны, какая-то текстура заметна, или по контрасту вот отличаются. Тут я вот соглашусь, да. Thank you, nice, I'm also good. I'm talking like two languages today. Because people speak different languages here as well, so I hope it's not gonna bother you. If you have questions about this landscape or the process, let me know, guys. I'm gonna reply you. So let's make this kind of line for our horizon over there. And also I have to drop some reflection, but before reflection I want to finish this trees and I want to put it with a little bit of yellow okay let's put it here so it's gonna turn a little bit green it's kind of dark dark green gonna be hi Vanessa thank you for stopping by Good morning, have your coffee, as always, hope you're doing well as well. Hi, Dravif Abrar, yeah, thank you for joining. Sorry, sometimes it's difficult to read names. Thank you, Naisla. I think it looks like mountain, but this is not what I want. I will use this fan blender brush because I want to make it looks like trees instead mountain. It's not gonna. what I want exactly right now. So 
so just simply blending it over there and I think I can put it even down to make this reflection as well anyway here gonna be lined with our water thank you guys for your compliments appreciate it so yeah it's gonna be like this I need more colors, more paints I mean. So let it blend a little bit more on this area. I just need more colors and yellow again to make it dark green instead of blue. Ну да, он какой-то такой получается, как бы темно-темно-зеленый. Но тоже я на самом деле до сих пор не очень разобрался в этих синих оттенках и цветах. Их слишком много, и они все слишком сильно путают. Допустим, это Prussian Blue, я даже не знаю, как на русский его привести. А это Cobalt. А еще есть Ultramarine, и еще есть светлые оттенки. И они достаточно все путают меня, потому что все какой-то дают разный эффект. Но я пока остановился вот на этих двух и более-менее как-то разобрался с ними. Ну, относительно, конечно, все. Но в всяком случае хоть как-то. Вот так понаделали кучу красок и попробую разберись, что там да как. С одной стороны, это, конечно, хорошо, что они есть, потому что не всегда надо мешать, и иногда, ну, скажем так, практически нереально намешать некоторые цвета из тех, что есть. Я раньше вообще отдельно зеленый покупал, а сейчас он как-то закончился, и, в принципе, я подумал, а зачем? Ведь я могу намешать что-то. И уже сколько много месяцев не покупаю зеленый, как-то нет нужды. Хотя по идее, наверное, мог бы. Okay, let's just drop some grass over here and I will just make it as I'm just under painting. Just main shape. Here also gonna be reflection. Excuse me, guys. And I think I will just use some orange on this area because you can see there is some kind of bright underpainting so let's use a little bit of oil thinner and I will drop some orange on this area and it's gonna be okay if it's mixing there because anyway it's gonna be all green but I just wanna cover those white spots over there I started to take the hands of our famous artist Ольги Француза who wrote today in the village of the village and the village of the village she told me to try to mix the yellow with the yellow with the cobalt и немного индиго. Может быть, да, я не знаю, я не покупал вот эти отдельные цвета, именно вот такие вот интересные, которые я лучше стараюсь сделать как бы из обычных цветов, но прихожу тоже к такой мысли, что вот надо попробовать какие-то необычные купить. Говорили еще добавлять в зеленый охру. 
или вот эту сиену жженую, как она называлась, немножко и тогда зеленый тоже получается такой вот интересный. Ну как бы это много экспериментов. И как бы так. Hi Coimbs, thank you for joining. Oh, your painting is so beautiful, lovely color mixing. Thank you for your compliments, appreciate it, thank you for coming. Hi Kang Venny, thank you for joining. Как бы, по идее, можно было и даже забелить этот фон, как бы показать даль, но тоже вот спорный вопрос, стоит ли его за... как бы забелять. Но обычно делают так, но... Или забеливать, как правильно сказать, даже не знаю. Но в данном случае не обязательно. Возможно, если солнце было бы высоко, это уже был бы другой пейзаж, но тут как закат, и в принципе и так понятно, что это даль, особенно когда мы подчеркнем это все вот белой линией, то это еще станет более понятнее, что это даль. Ну да, зеленый он сам по себе холодный, в принципе. Да, спасибо. Рад, что нравится. Hi, I'm Caritan. Thank you for joining us today as well. How are you doing? I think all squad is here. Nicely, Vanessa, I am. If comics will come and yet, it will be all squad. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm just joking. let's put a little bit more reflections on this area so I will not return here ну да, но там если посмотреть вот на фото, она как бы делит немножко получается отражение и воду. На самом деле я иногда добавляю свои вот такие белые полосы. Во многих очень работах, в принципе, получается неплохо. Но все-таки нужен какой-то, как вы говорили, свой немножко почерк и стиль. Может это тоже добавляет какой-то, как его сказать, изюминку, что ли, свою. Спасибо вам, что выкладываете, делитесь. То не за что если только побольше работ ой, побольше людей бы заходило смотрела было бы тоже получше но как я уже и сказал сейчас на ютубе тяжело очень как-то стать быть замеченным если только кто-то поделится видео и расскажет тогда еще да ну, в любом случае спасибо что смотрите This uh, ASMR sound, you mean this sound? Okay, I'll do special for you, a little bit longer, um, so you can enjoy. Here it's gonna be also, so you will have time to listen. <laughs> Actually, this uh, sound, as I remember, I watched one video, there was a girl, and... He was, she was simply eating food and there was like thousands of views, millions maybe and she is just simply eating food and there is the name like ASMR sound and that's all what she is doing in her whole video, simply eating. Ну да, немножко все это сложно стало. Ну, хотя я вот начал этим заниматься, просто, ну, именно вот какие-то продажи у меня были, какие-то работы продавались, просто потому что люди, 
начали спрашивать. Я раньше как-то этим не задумывался, даже пока не появился какой-то спрос. А когда я понял, что может кто-то что-то купить, я более серьезно начал этим заниматься. То есть сами люди немножко сподвигли на занятия больше, более плотно этим делом. Ну да, время плюс деньги это тоже дорого. Yeah, exactly. They are eating it crunch crunch. Exactly like this. And actually, imagine we are eating like three times a day, and you can film like three different videos a day. How much you eat? Like 15 minutes, like 20 minutes, right? So it's kind of one hour or three different videos for 20 minutes, and there is a content coming on. No need to study anywhere. Just eat food on YouTube or go go live and eat it. Yeah, especially when they are eating something tasty. That's true, Vanessa. Мои картины берут на продажу оптом. Но вы продаете где-то онлайн или вы просто где-то выставляете? У меня была идея вообще пойти в парк, взять мольберт и просто рисовать, но выставить свои работы, которые я нарисовал здесь, вот предположим, вот такого плана, и посмотреть вообще реакцию людей. Но у нас тоже с этим немножко строго, потому что полиция как бы таких отлавливает. Особенно если так вот продавать ходить. Поэтому я пока не спешу с этим делом, но идей есть много. So, um, if you want, I gave you idea for your third channel. You have now M drawing M, you have now M drawing M shorts, as I remember, and you will have M drawing M ASMR. See? В местах, где много экскурсий, всегда есть магазинчики, где продают сувениры, в том числе картины. Ну да, только вот надо с ними еще договориться. И... Просто, как я уже говорил, у нас людей в Латвии не очень много, и поэтому с этим тоже немножко сложновато. Ну, в принципе, и пробовать, да, нужно. Тут спору нет. О, я тоже не спешу, так, если честно. Город, на Сумбурке есть место, где художники продают свои картины, и кто их не отлавливает. Ну это здорово. Просто у нас даже тут бабушек ловили, которые там яблочки продавали, чтобы как-то прожить. Ну вот, и потом начинаешь задумываться. Ну да, буду пробовать. Это да. I will do it while eating spaghetti. Spaghetti will not be crunchy. Okay guys, I think that our topic here is not about the painting itself. So channel kind is dedicated about art. But we are talking about different things. No, it's kind of okay. But still, some people may want to see like tutorial or how I do this. But we are talking about spaghetti. Just came after a soul cutting a summer. Yeah, it's an artist who spent a lot in front of camps and phones. <laughs> Yeah, Dan Ross. Exactly. Dan Ross.
with paint happy boat it's a little bit far till boat yet I want to finish all this first and also add some grass over here because it's kind of background and boat will be in front so a little bit later Artific mode, thank you for joining us today as well. We are painting landscape as you can see, and I want to make some dark green. Can okay, I just add it here? And dark green for. area ну у него есть неплохие работы во всяком случае он так легко объясняет и я даже рисовал по его работам и думаю что где-то какие-то елочки даже очень похожи на его работы ну, в принципе неплохо Просто он это подает в таком ключе, что любой может рисовать, как там говорили, даже, даже домохозяйка может научиться рисовать. И у него это был такой основной посыл. И вот я думаю, что благодаря этому он стал такой известен. drop some shadow also it's a little bit hard to understand where is light because sun is down and it's kind of not so visible but anyway they just cover this areas Может быть, да, только он как бы умер давно уже. Он рисовал то старые работы его. Он рисовал еще и снимал видео до Ютуба. Я просто читал про него биографию, мне стало интересно. Как оказалось, да. И причем много американских, скажем так, последователей я видел на Ютубе именно. Которые делают похожие в всяком случае работы как он okay let's mix some lighter color drop some highlights on these trees I will not divide it too much I will just do it like like a one big big tree don't want to be focused too much on it На камеру, но сейчас обычная веб-камера, потому что, если вы видите, немного размытая. Ну, качество видео, конечно, хотелось бы лучше, но на данный момент это все, что я могу сделать. Там тоже нужен неплохой компьютер, который сможет все это выдавать. Но вообще, это обычная веб-камера. Стоила она где-то 60 долларов, если в доллары переводить. Ну, может так понятнее, потому что, я не знаю, там курс рубля, гривны. Немножко сложно. 
Но в принципе, главное, чтобы звук был нормальный, хоть картинка какая-то была. Во всяком случае, те, кто меня смотрит, они не особо жалуют, жаловались. А обычные видео я снимаю на зеркалку Canon 400, 4000D. Это зеркалка начального уровня, но, если честно, она не очень подходит для видео. Она больше для фотографий, но я ее использую для коротких видео, потому что там хоть какое-то разрешение и качество картинки ну, достаточно хорошее, во всяком случае, для меня. Вот. Но для длинных видео она, к сожалению, не подходит, поэтому я задумывался, может взять какую-то видеокамеру. Вот. Ну, как бы пока вроде так все неплохо. I'm from Latvia, as you know, it's a small, small country in East Europe, just beside Russia, and not so far from Ukraine also, and if we go north, there will be Sweden, so from Latvia. Then just curious to know, do you post all that you draw? Yeah, from the, my latest paintings I'm posting everything that I'm drawing. As you can see I'm doing live stream mostly. Lately I could say I'm doing live stream. So yeah. If I wanna do some time lapse video I'm, I'm recording it in my mirror camera and I upload it later. But if I did mistake in some of my paintings then definitely I'm not going to show it. But actually I'm not painting so often as you can see. Actually one painting, two paintings per week and maybe maximum eight paintings per month. It's not so much as I wanted to. Because at the moment I'm not living, I'm not doing money from this art just in a rare case but I'm going to it slowly but going and hopefully in the nearest future I will be able and then I will do maybe more interesting videos it also depends what you would like to see And yeah, also I have a family in the Philippines as well, so definitely I'm gonna come back after this pandemic will be over. So I'm kind of living in both countries, I could say so. But at the moment I'm in Latvia. Okay, let's just drop more highlights in our trees. I'm simply mixing yellow and dropping it here. And I will not be focused too much on those details there. Yeah, I'm just white, but Filipino in her, that's true. Because this pandemic is crazy, really. Everything's closed. Can't go back and... Kind of like this. Okay, let's return to it later. Just... Let's, let's drop some reflections over there in our water and I need more darker colors
from late it's like Cebu area I was there kind of first time in the Philippines I was there it was like five years ago or, or almost six years ago roaming around Cebu it's kind of cool There is so many languages actually, so many dialects <laughs> that Filipino don't understand Filipino. <laughs> it was so strange to see first time when I came there. I just remember. My, wa my wife was asking me, like there was two guys I think in the van, we supposed to go somewhere. And she was asking me like what, what he's talking about, I don't get him. So the Filipino don't get Filipino. <laughs> it's kind of fine, fun. <laughs> Sorry, guys, if I miss some of your maybe messages, cause I can't be focused too much <laughs> on the screen and in the painting. So just repeat your question if you have or if you said something ok let me just add some grass and I will use cadmium yellow and I will mix it with our bruce and blue what is over but still leftovers here and I'm gonna add some kind of shape of the grass because here it's gonna be divided with our lake as you see on the reference photo our land is over here Yeah, I hope that too, that soon I will be able, maybe next year, that would be great. Thank you for your comments and compliments. Art color gamut не очень понял, к сожалению, что вы хотите сказать. Я думаю, сам переводится опять что-то там не очень понятно. Add a little bit of Prussian blue because I will be using this Prussian blue for this area. Still, it's kind of almost transparent color, at least it's written, but I will mix it with cobalt blue and I will add some yellow so it's a combination of three colors so when I say you have an inspiration to paint something if it took you four months <laughs> definitely many ideas came in your mind Ну да, я там жил два с половиной года вот на Филиппинах. И просто сейчас не могу вернуться из-за пандемии. У меня жена филиппинка на данный момент там, а я вот в Латвии. И когда смогу вернуться, поеду обратно, да. 
как бы вот так. Такая ситуация не очень, к сожалению. Но что делать? Ну да, петушиные бои это там одна такая из местных, как сказать. Ну, не, ну как бы ну, фишка, да, можно давайте так назовем фишка. I'm still practicing on painting. Yeah, you can follow along actually if you want. Because sometimes we kind of speak about different topics here, but also I'm telling what I'm doing. I just can't follow all. Ну да, плохо. А что делать? Уже вот второй год, почти два года. Я приехал в Латвию. Мне надо было, ну, немножко заработать денег каких-то на визу, э, резидентскую визу. Просто у меня было не так много, а хотелось чуть-чуть побольше. Ну и мы только поженились, как бы. И началась эта вот пандемия, и я до сих пор не могу вернуться. К сожалению. Thank you, artific mom. Appreciate your help. Нет, детей нет, и вот я вот думаю, хорошо, что их нет, потому что если бы еще и дети были в такой ситуации, ну это вообще уже маразм просто. Так еще как-то можно с детьми. Так что даже лучше, что пока их нет. Let's just drop some more grass on our water. It's gonna be reflections already, but still I have to show it. Right, and I will go to paint this area. Take Bruce and Blue again. Also Cobalt Blue, still so much here. So I can use it. Let's drop some highlight. Um, reflections as well. Just randomly. No need to follow this too much. Anyway, I will blur it a little bit with this blender brush, fan brush, I mean. But it's also kind of called blender. I don't know why. But just with simple touch can blend it a little uh, horizontally so our shape will be shown as this is a reflection. It's okay. And 
here is also grass, so I can use same green. I will add just a little bit of orange to make it a little bit lighter. The yellow and Persian. Let's try to use sienna also. So it will be kind of warmer. Да, спасибо, что зашли. И вам всего хорошего. Приходите еще как-нибудь, если будет время, конечно. Видео занимает долго. Но... Спасибо еще раз за поддержку. Grass, as you can see. So we just show it in this area, and I can see there is also kind of ground um, just below our boat, and I think I will use. Yeah, I will mix this red and this sienna after. Let's just cover this white spot over here. So to be honest, this boat gonna be more responsible thing on this painting ever, because I am not so good in painting such shapes, and it's also kind of practice for me. Спасибо еще раз. Just a moment, guys. I have to fix my palette again. Okay. But I just seem to cover this area. And I will blend it after as well. And also Sienna will go on this area. Because as you can see there is kind of ground or something like ground. And we can put it over there. Okay, let's blend it all. I will use same blender brush as you remember and oil thinner of course. Actually someone asked me to paint this landscape, not exactly this, someone asked me to paint a boat if I can do something with the boat, so I decided okay I just do some landscape. Tomorrow not gonna be stream because this is why I made stream today. I will be a little bit busy tomorrow and can't do stream. I will try to do on Wednesday another stream and it's gonna be flower and I think I will paint rose on black background. Red rose or yellow rose on black background. So consider this as next painting.
Thank you Artific Mom for being here and enjoying our live stream. I appreciate your help and yeah, come again when you have time. Thank you so much. Right. Just a moment guys. Thank you Vanessa for sharing my videos, it's really much appreciated because it's hard to be seen on YouTube the last time, so yeah, thank you for the help. To be honest, I think I will simply add this brown color for ground. Side mixing this red with sienna. It's gonna be much easier, I think. I think we can do maybe some collaboration, like all of us. What do you think? It's we can, as we all painting landscape, we can make like we can take one landscape and paint it in our own way how we see it. For example, we take this landscape and we painting it all together in our own style. Maybe someone will want to do this one day. Because I don't know if someone want to paint animal or flowers so maybe it's maybe it can be landscape then <laughs> okay we are two now we need maybe some more people or we can do it together also we just need to find some Reference photo. Okay, let's just blend it. And our ground will be ready. So I will drop some grass over here and also on this area I will not do this as you can see in reference photo there is kind of little, little stones but I will just put grass. Yeah now you heard yeah we can just find some reference photo also I can do it live stream and you can do it as your simple premiere video as you are doing as you want we just need to find photo and I think we can just share it maybe in Instagram to each other just to know what we're gonna paint 
or it depends also what you want. If you want flowers, we can paint flowers. Or landscape, because mostly painting of yours are landscapes. Okay, let's just drop more highlights on this area with our grass over here because as you can see the light is coming from the right side because we have sh some shadows on the right side from our boat you're not good with flowers in the case let's do landscape but probably not this week maybe next week because I will be painting flowers for the next live stream and then I'm gonna be oh no wait yeah I will painting flowers and I will painting animal again and then I can paint landscape so need a little bit more time but okay I will look for some reference photo just let me know what you like to paint more like Maybe just sunset or maybe snow video or oh, snow video, snow photo or many, maybe any other just okay I will look for something I will share to you in, on Instagram okay. no, maybe not today maybe some next days so we will have time to prepare Just let me know what you would like to paint more like what kind of landscape. Yeah, landscape, but what kind of landscape? Because also there is some difficult theme. So at least we can make it like, oh, no, maybe not similar, but definitely it's not going to be similar. Because we have like different ways. But still. Okay, I will just look for some photos then and send you next days so we can prepare. <laughs> happy little tree, yeah, with happy little accident. <laughs> Okay, let's finally try to paint this boat. I will use this orange because it's kind of leftovers. And yeah, just end. Just let's make this shape in our underpainting. Because I'm not really good in painting such things, to be honest. Plus, this boat is kind of even more like this. Sure, Vanessa, take your time, take your dog out. Can you change brush? Don't like it too much. Okay, 
You think this line gonna be fine, but I don't like how this going. Probably I need to change it. And okay, here's kind of okay, but it's more curved on this area. But actually, there is some tricks how to avoid your if you are not good in something for example i'm not too good in painting such bolts but still i'm practicing also and if you are not confident some details you can actually cover it with some additional details like i will just add some grass over here and it's gonna be fine continue and drop our basic line on this area it's gonna be okay just drop some highlights more curved on this area so let's just drop some dark spots there inside our boat kind of can be like this and I just think I will fix this detail a little bit Definitely. some probably like this and also standing over there this I think it's orange actually I can use this orange what I mixed already but I will add some sienna to make it more brownish so it will be totally orange some brown color as well try to use our soft brush and synthetic brush for our shape because it's actually already second layer and we can try to use synthetic soft brush as a second layer as well Let's also have to drop some shadow on this boat, but I will do it after. Let's just make this main shape. much concentration over here I 
Why yet? It's never late. Yeah, can replay anyway if you want to watch the beginning. Thank you for joining. How are you today? Vanessa is kinda a little bit busy with her dog, but she will come back. I'm currently busy with shape of our boat. And we will drop some shadows after. And let's just add some yellow, more yellow, and I need white as well. This yellow is more like inside our boat. I need more white anyway. Yeah, this boat will take me an hour, I think. Okay, let's just cover it inside of some this bright color. And also, I will blend it a little bit here because I need it more curved. As you can see on the photo, it's more curved in the middle. some shadows inside okay a little bit more on the left side Thank you, Nisla. Yeah, I'm just a little bit struggling with this boat right now. But it's okay. Let's try to fix it. And I need to just drop some 
Fine in art life, thank you for coming and for joining us. We are painting a boat. Oh, boat. Yeah, we're actually now we are painting a boat, but we are painting a landscape today. Okay, definitely boat is not my strongest part in this landscape. I will just try to use smaller brush and I will try to do some highlights. some highlights on areas on the top of the boat. I need more white. We're running out of white right now. I think it's gonna be fine because this area below we're gonna cover with grass and nobody gonna see my mistakes. So it's kind of tricks. I'm just crying because I'm concentrating here too much, I think. Too much concentration in one boat. Actually, I hate the small details, to be honest. I like the challenges, to paint something challenging, but I hate the small details. Okay. Sorry. Hi Naira, thank you for coming and for your like. Appreciate it. Thank you, Nina. Yeah, actually I wanna 
uh, fix this a little bit with white. I will add some more white over here to divide a little bit these two clouds. Let's add some, it's kind of bench over there. A bench inside our road. And it's a lighter color. change brush and I will add more brown more brown over there and also I want to add a little bit orange outside our boat. Okay, we'll leave it like this right now and I will fix this grass what is around. Also this grass and then I will return to these small details. So let's just drop some light on our grass on this area actually we can put it everywhere because there is just kind of bushes and ground and no other objects at least I don't see it and also I will drop this grass as I said before, before on our boat so it will be covered a little bit I just need a little bit more yellow and we can continue gonna be nice I think so definitely it's boat in grass and in this area we will use more dark green just to show that it's in shadows but before this I wanna drop some highlights over here so I will use also white and yellow I'm gonna put it here actually even more white can be added I don't wanna use too much yellow more like white to show our light from the right side this island. So 
uh, kind of like this and also some reflection on it. Thank you, Vanessa. Okay, I think it's gonna be enough for now. Let's do the same with our boat grass. Let's drop some more white over there. And we'll use Prussian blue, cobalt blue, and mixing it kind of together. And also some yellow. And it's gonna give us kind of dark, dark green. But this is exactly what I need for shadows. Shadows just under our boat. And on all this area as well, there is not so highlighted. So here is some grass above. We can show it also and make it highlight it a little bit. And I will fix this boat a little bit later. Just two more highlights. shadows as well. So maybe a little bit on this area as well, even if there is no reference photo, but I just want to show it. And also I want to put some more grass like on this water, like to show that it's a little bit. Just going up. Let's add some brown also. Let's try to fix our clouds, what I told before, on this area. Just make it a little bit whiter or lighter. You can call it how you want. So, to make it a little bit uh, divided, because I don't like how it looks like. And also more light on the top. Usually top is more darker, but here is still light colors. So I'm simply adding white. I think 
is okay. And let's just use our big palette knife. And I want to drop this line that's going until here and uh, on the right side just to show our kind of horizon. Oh my god, why oh, it's not so straight? I can't even drop straight line. At least now it's divided and I think I'll add also white on this area. Actually I will use another palette knife, it's kind of this one, it's Bob Ross palette knife for mountains, but I actually didn't like it for mountains. I'm using simple this for mountains or a bigger one. But this one is not comfortable for me. I don't know why, but I don't like it. But for water it's kind of okay. So let's just put our paints on the edge. And drop it here. Yeah, palette knife action. I just want to divide our uh, sea and land over there and so reflection will be visible even more. I don't know actually how it goes. If you need brand is Konda brand. And another brand, ah, also Konda brand. This is Russian. It calls Sonnet. It's actually all similar, but I don't know how this one exactly calls. But I don't like it too much for mountains, only if you need to drop some line. Like, for, for example, like now what I'm doing. Because I try to find that knife online, it's hard because I don't know the name. Just try to type 1041 Konda palette knife and maybe you can see it. 1041 Konda, the name if you need. Yeah, for lining, but simple palette also is good for lining. This one I just can hold like this. This is why I'm using it. Your line doing doing lining a little bit different, but here I have to be like precise with this, so I will not do mistakes on our dividing this area. Also this area I want to divide a little bit to show reflection and trees, same. Ok, 
we just drop some more light in this area as well can be divided a bit more of an ad. So I can use also this brush just to blend a little bit this white color because it's too bright. So I just blend it a little bit over there. Some this area as well. I think I still need to put a little bit more on this area even there is no one reference photo but I want to put it a little bit more thinking in yeah it's kind of was main detail as well and I also want to blend it a little bit here because it's too bright and also blend those far trees as well details on this area Okay, what can I do with this boat now? Let me watch. I can drop something here, like sitting, and add some darker lines above it, and also fix some details over here.
Okay, let's try. I will use sienna and white. Also some brown combination. I'll drop it over there like there is a thing where people can see it. Just a moment. And another brush and more white. I think it can be a little bit bigger than it's now till here it's good that you don't see my face now the tongue is out it's hard to breathe Okay. Let's drop some shadows. I forgot I have black. I just mix it with. Oh, exactly. I can drop better shadows. Thank you, Vanessa. Appreciate it. I just want to fix some details on this boat, and it's kind of done. So it's going to take some while, I believe. Anyway. Also. Add some highlights inside the boat. Maybe just cover it with some color. Anyway, then just fix it a little bit. Also, it's kind of more curved on the back, and I'm gonna show it. Just a moment, I want to fix that shape over there. And drop more shadows inside also.
Anyway, it's not totally how I want to see it, but at least somehow I uh, need more white. Let's do some highlights again. So I just fix again. It's all about fixing every time here. Yeah, but shape of the bolts are like this, so this is why. Just drop some shadow under our boat, so I will use orange and black. And just drop this line over there. It's kind of beneath our highlighted line. Hi Rosalie, welcome to the stream. We kind of finishing, but I'm still struggling with this boat and I will just need a little bit more time to fix some details, what I can and it's gonna be over. But anyway, you can watch replay if you want. So some lines on our boat. Conditional. Yeah, actually, Rosli, we planning to collaborate with some uh, artist. It's me, Naisla, Vanessa, and probably if you want to join, you can join. We will be painting a landscape. I will choose one landscape. I will send photos to each of you. And we're going to paint these one landscapes in our own style. 
So the thing is just not follow anyone, just do the landscape from reference photo what I sent in your own style. So if you want to join you, you can text here and also I need your Instagram. So I will be sending photo. And anyone else guys who watching now, maybe yet, if you are still here you can join also. Actually anyone can join but there's just not all people doing landscapes and maybe they don't want to. I think here is too dark, I will add more. I think I will add some more and show it there. Ok, I will look then on Instagram. So we are four now and maybe some other people want to join. It also would be great. But I'm planning to paint this kind of next week, maybe uh, not next week, but next next week. So we still have kind of time. So everyone can prepare. Also, there is kind of a lot of landscapes and maybe some of you want to paint some, how to say, if you know what you want, landscapes you want, want to paint, just also let me know, so I will choose this reference photo from your uh, how to say the one what you like more. For example, if you want to paint more winters or you like to paint more winters, we can consider this idea as well. bit more shadows and I will use some lemon yellow I will I want to highlight some additional grass details just to make it and I will use this lemon yellow because it's a little bit hard to mix with these colors what I have so yep And the one important thing about this collaboration is uh, don't post all your videos just in one time. <laughs> it will be a fail collaboration. <laughs> so we can kind of schedule it. Okay, here it is, this lemon yellow. 
Mm, let's just highlight some areas. And also this grass, let's highlight it as well. Just a moment guys. A little bit more here and I think it's over. Or if you see some what can be added more you can tell me. Maybe I miss something. But still I don't like this boat too much. It looks a little bit weird because I'm not so good in painting boats. So maybe I'll just add some more details on it after. Or just add more this black line over there. And some highlights on this grass also a little bit. Shadows as well using Bruce and Blue. And some shadows also. In this area. Especially I have so much leftovers again. So why not to use it? Okay, just let it be like this. I think it's okay. Oh, I forgot my sign. One of the most important thing to sign your artwork. Actually just two batters DA. Not much what to sign. 
Not still. Right. And let's take this scotch tape off. It's your favorite part of the painting. Thank you, Russell and Vanessa, and all of you. Okay, I am done for today. I still don't like my boat, but nothing to do with this. Probably can add some tree over there, so it's not be so visible. Okay, I'm just kidding. I will leave it like this right now. And yeah, about collaboration. If someone have still questions let me know on the instagram anyway i will inform you about this maybe not today maybe tomorrow or monday i will just look for some photos just some for some ideas and where for at the moment it's me vanessa nicely and rosalie maybe some other people will join like yet maybe or jinjoy or other guys there was I remember maybe Ramley or Ray I think his name was I don't remember maybe if you know them you can also tell them if they want to join just message me on Instagram and consider this idea kind of next weekend or after weekend so anyone can prepare and also we can do kind of schedule so we will not pause this video in one day so it's gonna be a little bit weird okay so anyway you will be informed so thank you all who came here on my live stream again next live stream i will try to do wednesday it's gonna be around same time uh, and I'm gonna be painting flowers and I think it's gonna be rose or some roses I will just f look for some photos as well so yeah okay guys thank you once again for joining have a great day ahead or night or whatever time you have and I will see you soon again bye bye